Hello everyone, Marcel Gagné here. Welcome to Cooking with Linux. Hey, you know that old expression, work hard, play hard? Well, I've been working really hard to finish off that last piece of pecan pie. Let me tell you, it was hard work, but I did manage it and uh, now it's time to play because I've been working so hard. Anyway, um, you probably have kids. I have kids. We all have kids. No, we don't all have kids. But listen, it doesn't really matter. The point of today's Cooking with Linux is playing, you know, after you've been working hard and all that. And the kind of play that we're going to do specifically is Minecraft. So if you've got a Minecraft Pocket Edition uh, on your Android tablet or your kids have it on their Android tablet, this is your opportunity to set up a server on your Linux desktop or on your Linux server. I'm going to show you how to do that. And that way the kids can have their own safe play environment. They can invite their friends, neighbors, uh, I don't know, cousins, second cousins, all that sort of stuff. And you're in control because, well, this is Linux and this is cooking with Linux. So without further ado, à votre santé. Bon appétit. It's playtime. All right, here we are sitting at our desktop ready to play. So let's play a game. Shall we play a game? Yes, yes, that's a reference to something that, uh, you know, is from a long time ago. Anyway, here we go. Okay, now, the server that we're going to look at, the server software we're going to look at from Minecraft PE, so that you can run that Minecraft server on your desktop or on your server, however you want to look at it, and turn your desktop into a server, in this case, is something called Nucket, or at least I've heard it pronounced Nucket. I personally like to call it Nucket. I'm sure it's based on bucket, as a, you know, nucket, bucket, that sort of thing. Um, however, I happen to like calling it nukit, and I like calling it nukit, because if you go to the page, n-u-k-k-i-t dot i-o, it says server software from Minecraft PE, nuclear powered. Get it? Nuclear powered? And then they'll tell you about nukit and how it works and blah, 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 and all sorts of other things. And it's all very, very exciting. But... I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this set up and get this going. And then I'm even going to show you what you have to do on your tablet to be able to connect to it and do stuff with it. Okay? You ready? You ready? Let's click the download button. And we have two choices here. Okay? We can go to uh, Jenkins. Uh, we can go to CircleCL. But uh, I'm going to go to Jenkins where I currently am at the moment. And I'm going to do a reload of this page just because I want to make sure that I actually do have the latest version sitting up here. There we go. Okay. Latest version. As you can tell, uh, October, let me see, uh, last build was actually two days, 13 hours ago, 477. Let's just click on that and download that file. There we go. Nukit uh, 1.0 snap, blah, 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 jar, snapshot. Okay. All right. All right. That's actually all that we have to do. We have to download this guy. It's currently loading. Nine minutes left. Uh, 14 minutes left. Uh, I cannot, I, this, this is taking a long time. You know what? Go grab a glass of wine. Or, you know, a little bit of cheese or uh, whatever it is that you want to do. Make yourself a coffee, a cappuccino, and then come back here in a few minutes, okay? I'm going to pause the video. Oops, keep. Yeah, well, I do want to keep it. Does that mean we're done? Does that mean we're done? You didn't even have time to go out and get, you know what? I'm going to pause anyway, okay? Go get, go get your stuff. Okay, are you back? Good. All right, this is what we're going to do now. Okay, so NuKit is downloaded. So uh, and and I'm calling it NuKit. Okay, if you wanna if you wanna leave a comment and you want to tell me that I'm wrong, please do so. You know where the comment section is in the videos down here. So if I go here in my downloads directory, I've got NuKit, and you know what? I just just because this is my downloads directory, and I may want to move the whole darn thing at some point. I'm gonna go MKDIR, and I'm gonna call it uh, MC for Minecraft. Okay, so I'm gonna go MC, and I'm gonna move. Uh, new kit over here and uh, you know I could rename it if I want at this point but I don't care I'm not going to rename it I'm just going to move it here okay so here we are and that way I can just move the whole folder if I want to a little bit later on okay so here we are so here we are back in my MC folder and here in the folder what I'm going to do is I'm going to type uh, this is a Java file by the way in case you're wondering this .jar file the new kit file that we've got here um, if you um, did I type LA I typed LA there we go hmm, amazing anyway um, if I type Java dash version you'll notice that I'm running open JDK version 1.8.0 point under sorry point <laughs> underscore 91 so I'm running the open JDK the one that you get with your Linux distribution this isn't even the official 
official Sun Java, or I'm uh, sorry, um, Oracle Java, I guess it is these days. Java dash jar nukit 1.0 blah blah, and then I hit enter, and magic happens. Eng, that's the language that I'm going to do it in. You obviously, if you speak Espanol, you'll want to do SPA here, but I'm doing English. And it comes up and it says loading nukit.yml, loading server.properties, all sorts of things, level world not found, preparing level world. And believe it or not, the server is actually now up and running. Okay? So, all right, now there's one more thing that we want to take a look at, and it's this, ifconfig. And you'll notice that my IP address is 192.168.1.11. Remember that, 192.168.1.11. You'll see why in just a moment as we jump over to the Android tablet to connect to our newly minted new running server. Okay, all right, cool. All right, remember that, 192.168.1.11. Meanwhile, over on my Android tablet, there's my little avatar, the Wooftel uh, wizard dude there. I'm going to click play, and I'm going to click on create new world. Now, I'm going to do this two different ways, but let's start with this one just for fun, okay? And uh, oh, let's call it um, Nukit. Notice I keep calling it Nukit. Nukit on Linux. That's going to be my world here. Nukit on Linux. Okay, so that's what we're calling it. I'm going to say done. And uh, now the other thing I want to show you is uh, let's make it survival. And up at the top, see the advanced button over in the top right hand corner there? There's a little plus sign beside it. If I click that plus sign, I can give my server a name. So I'm going to say just my server. That's my server's name. My server's name is my server. And then here, remember I told you to pay attention to the IP address. Now, now I have to make this part clear, okay? This is how we will reach the server if we are trying to get it on the internet. Now, the IP address locally was 192.168.1.11, okay? And here I could just click add server and then go on with life. Now, the reason I mention this is 192.168.1.11, as you already know, or probably already know, is a private non-routable address. That means you can't really get to it from the internet. Yes, you can go to your friend's router and they can open up a port and they can redirect that port. And in fact, if you want to run it on your Linux box in-house, that's what you're going to do. You're going to go over to your router and you're going to open up a port on the router and redirect that to port 19132 on whatever the IP address of your PC is. In this case, 192.168.1.11. Okay. And that is how people will get to it. But of course, you're going to give them the external IP address, the address of the, the address that people would find you at from the outside. And you can find that out by going to something like uh, just typing in what's my IP in Google and you will find sites that will actually show you what your IP address is as far as the outside world is concerned, okay? So I'm not going to talk about how to get to it from your router, but th this is what you would do. You would redirect a port from your router. Now, I'm not even going to enter add server here. I'm just going to go back. And the reason I'm going to go back here is because if this is on your local network, click friends here, and you'll notice that it shows up as LAN games. In other words, on my local area network, it knows that that server is actually running. Now, I want you to look at the name there, Nick, Nukit, <laughs> Nukit, Nukit server for Minecraft, okay? So I'm just going to type this here, locating server, building terrain. The magic is happening. Yes, the magic is happening. Ooh, it's all very, very exciting. And boom, 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 boom. This is the first time through. Okay, so we've got to give it a second here. Done. And here we are. Here is my new world created on my NuKit server. Okay, and uh, it's slowly building up here uh, for a first time run. And there you go. There's my world. I can go out and, and, and do all my lovely uh, Minecraft things. And by the way, this particular world, as you know, was randomly generated because I didn't actually give it a seed. And yes, you can do that. I'll show you how you can do that in a moment. But anyway, here we are. We're in our Minecraft world. We're wandering about. And uh, this one is running on a NuKit server that we created in-house. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm Wooftel, and uh, you know I'm. Let's uh, you know get some blocks of wood there. So we'll start. We'll do things you know like uh, you know you typically expect to happen in in Minecraft. We'll get a couple of blocks of wood, and then we're going to go back to the server and look at a couple of additional things. Okay, but I want you to remember that part about Nukit server on Linux. Okay, um, our Nukit server for Minecraft, which we saw. 
um, and of course the world seed that we've got created here okay because we're going to talk about that back over on the server All and right? let's go back and take a look as you can see Wooftel joined the game Wooftel logged in with entity one that world blah 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 there are the coordinates of my world where I joined and um, you know if you type help there you can see all the various commands for the system and of course you can do things like op WFTL because now we go Wooftel has now been opt um, and of course, there are a whole bunch of other uh, commands that exist on the system. You can change the time of day. You can, uh, you know, uh, uh, here we go, ban IPs, uh, ban people, pardon people, uh, save at any time. And um, you notice it also says reload uh, plugins on the server. That might be something that we have to do for a different time. But uh, what I want to show you right now is uh, we're going to quit. Okay. And you go, what? What? Oops. Sorry. Stop. There we go, unloading world, stopping other threads. And now, take a look over here. You notice there was only one file here. There was nuke it, blah, blah, dot jar. That was the only file. Now we've got an ops.txt. If you go ops.txt, you notice that we've got wooftel and the ops. Okay, we've got banned IPs. Uh, we've got a nuke it.yml configuration file, server log, but, but, and of course there's a worlds there. If you go worlds, uh, worlds, the default world is called world. Uh, but let's go vi server.properties. Yes, I'm using vi. And um, you notice it said uh, message of the day, nuke server for Minecraft PE. Here I am and uh, so are you. All right, that's going to be the now message of the day. So we can change that here as well. Uh, the server port that it operates on and so forth. View distance, whitelist, we'll, we'll leave that alone for the moment. Uh, spawn protection, that means uh, when you spawn, are you allowed to start building or doing things right where you spawn or do you have to move away a certain number of blocks? In this case, you have to move 16 blocks away. Allow flight, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's say sure, we'll allow flight on this one because, you know, we're all just friends here. Uh, game mode, uh, this would be your game mode, whether you're uh, talking um, survival, uh, um, creative, you name it, uh, whether PvP is allowed hardcore, whether you're allowed to respawn or not, we want to respawn, but there's there's what I want to show you, the level name world, okay, so we could create a new world here, and I'm going to call the world, oh, I don't know, um, uh, uh, little, little world, Okay, we're going to call it Little World, like, you know, say hello to my little world. And the seed is going to be um, uh, something big. There we go, Little World, something big, level type default. Uh, that would be uh, uh, infinite at this point, so it would be an infinite. Enable Archon, so you can have a remote console, so you can administer things, you know, start rain, uh, do all sorts of other fun things. But uh, we're not going to do that. Right now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go Shift ZZ. We're going to save this stuff, and I'm going to restart the server, okay, the same way that we started started it before with the java dash jar okay we restart the server this time you'll notice it says preparing level little world all right so it's a different world now i've created a different world with a different seed so what's going to get created is going to look a little bit different and uh, one more time we're going to jump over to the tablet and we're going to see what that looks like okay all right we'll be back in a minute Meanwhile, over on my tablet, it's a server closed because, well, you saw me. I stopped the server. So let's say OK, and I'm going to say play. And we're going to go back to uh, where the friends list here. And here I am, and so are you. Notice the message of the day for the server has changed. It said, nuke it server. Now I've got whatever I put in there. Here I am, and so are you. Locating server, building terrain, uh, generating world. And as you can see, I hope you can see, this is a completely different world than the one that I had before. We have a brand spanking new world here on my local server. All right, all right. And that's it. So you can actually build worlds using specific seeds. And uh, what's really cool about this is if you actually want to maintain a particular world or a particular look and feel for your server, you can uh, back it up like you would any additional folder or directory on your Linux box. So you can actually you can actually save the work that you've done and then restore it at any time you like. So backups and restores that you would normally use in your uh, in your Linux world or on your Linux server, you can use for your Minecraft worlds as well. Cool? Cool. All right. That's it. 
I think this is where I'm going to leave it uh, here in the Minecraft world, and uh, perhaps uh, you know we'll we'll meet somewhere in cy cyberspace and, and and build something cool in our Minecraft world on our Minecraft Linux servers. Thanks for watching. This is Marcel Gagne. Uh, you know how this works. If you like what I'm doing here, leave a comment, uh, do some thumbs up stuff, subscribe, subscribe, tell people to watch this, share it with your friends, family, neighbors, enemies, all that stuff. I'll see you next time. À votre santé et bon appétit.